welcome back to another vlog so before we get started with this vlog i want to show you all a couple of things that i grabbed from fashion nova and this jumpsuit that i have on right now is already like one of my favorites i can't wait to wear it. well actually i'm wearing it today but yeah we're gonna go ahead and hop into it so i can show y'all a couple of these pieces so this is number one this jumpsuit that i got in a size small i believe and when I first put it on, I was like, oh, I should have got an extra small. But honestly, I feel like the small looks just fine. So this is super duper cute. Flowy, long. It's probably tall girl friendly too because this is definitely dragging the floor on me. And I am like 5'1", 5'2". So yeah, what I got in a size small. This is so soft and comfy, so breathable for how hot it's being outside y'all so yeah first little thing is this little jumpsuit super cute and i love the pockets and i was just about to forget you can actually tie this up hopefully i didn't get my lip gloss on that you can tie this around your neck like this but i decided to wear mine just tied up as a tube top because i like it better that way and i feel like it's cuter like that so then I got this black tank top, which I am so obsessed with the fit of it. Although I did get an extra small. I usually go for a small in my tops, but I feel like I wanted this to be fitted because I've gotten a couple of tank tops from them in a size small, and they never really fit like how I want them to fit. And this time I was like, let me just get an extra small, and it fits exactly how I wanted to. So now I already have this exact tank top and a couple different colors I already sit in my car. Top, And then I also got these jeans or pants whatever you want to call them um and i got, believe i got these in an extra small if i'm not mistaken um but they look like this at the bottom and honestly this will go better with a white top but just for the sake of the video or whatever i have on this black one but this will definitely look better with like a white basic tank top um Super cute. I can dress them up or down with like some sandals or some heels, whatever. But I just felt like these are really different. I love the wash of them. Like these are super different. Something that I probably wouldn't normally go for. But I was like, let me branch out. They're super cute. And I can just see me putting together a really, really cute outfit with these. I just really hate the fact that all of my pants be dragged in the floor. Then I also grabbed these cargos, these camo cargos. I haven't had any camo pants in my wardrobe for so long. So I had to buy bullet and get me another pair. I used to love pairing stuff up with like camo pants. So this time they're a little bit different. I like this style camo because my old camo pants or what I would usually go for is like the basic cargo, basic camo um, pattern or print. But these are really cute and different. I love like the bagginess of them. And then they have all these strings hanging at the bottom, which I feel like just kind of adds to the vibe. Yeah, and I still just have on this black tank. But I got these in a size, um, I got these in a size extra small. And as you can tell, they're kind of like, they're not, I mean, they're not too big, but they still have like, space in them so the trick or the key is when you're shopping on fashion nova you have to make sure you're reading the product details because depending on the stretch you just have to know your body and know like okay if this is super stretchy then i may need to size up or size down but if it's if it says no stretch then i should probably just get my normal size you get what i'm saying this dress that i got is super cute i got it in a size 
I don't know. I'll have to put it on the screen because I really can't remember. But this is so cute. I feel like it will be super cute for like a little lunch date or brunch or something like that. It's just this black and white stripe. A little slit in the front. It's super duper cute. And it's really like add some gold earrings and like jewelry and accessorize it. And it's going to be a super duper cute. So, yeah. And really y'all dress it. It is really the way to go with this heat. And then we have this dress, which really is just so I can have for any type of vacation or something because I don't think I would just wear this on a regular day to day basis. But I feel like this would be super cute on a vacay. Yeah, you have the back out, so really, really cute. So, um, 
I feel like I literally don't even know like the words to say or like what to say still. My skin feels so dry, but I know I'm moisturized. Um, but yeah, anyways, I have so many packages that I haven't opened from Amazon. I know I did like open up like the little snippet, little sneak peek in the last vlog, which was just like the shower rack or whatever, but I have so many packages and some of it isn't even like house stuff. Some of it is just um, like other pieces that I ended up ordering to go with other content that I need to get done. But since we're here, we can finally open up everything so I can just see, cause some of it is house stuff and some of it is not. So let's open up these packages. I don't know what is in this big old package and it's super light. So I'm just like, baby, what, what did y'all put in? I've already semi-opened this, so let's see what's in this place. Okay. I should have brought my phone in here. These are so cute. I got these to go with the outfit that I have in mind. I literally can't wait. So weird. These are so cute. They feel a little flimsy though, so I really, really hope that they don't like just easily break. Honestly, you guys, I don't know. I don't know how I'm really feeling about them. They're cute, but I don't know if they got. It's because they're in this box. So it's like the the. This is broke. Like it's it's too flimsy. Like. It's too loose, like I can barely even put it on. So I'm probably gonna have to return these and reorder, which is really sad, cause I wanted to take, um, I already had an outfit in mind that I wanted to go with this for like, this weekend kind of. Another pair of sunnies. So I'm trying to just get back into the flow of like me. I'm getting back to me, okay? Y'all know I used to give y'all the looks. I used to give y'all, okay? It's a gibby. And I just have to like get back to it, you know? Well, I'm getting back to it, okay? So I'm about to be on it. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, these are gonna be so tea. I can already tell. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, these are T. The lens on them definitely is very strong. The red light, whatever, is real strong. But yeah, these are super duper cute. I love these. And the little, is it clear or is it blue? But it has a little like heart detailing on the side. I'm not sure y'all can see it. But yeah, there you go. It has a little like heart detail on the side. That's so cute. These are so T. So actually, I need to order um, I'm I'm still debating on how I want to like organize friends collection. I don't really know how I want to do that. So that's something that I need to figure out ASAP so that I can put my shades in their proper place, you know? Um, okay, and then I also ordered some rings off of fashion off of fashion over no. I also ordered these rings because I like wearing rings, you know? And I got them in a size C. I'm actually about to put them on like right now. Okay, this, y'all, and why am I today years old? Or literally like, I think last night when I realized that you can open up Amazon packages from the top right here. Why, why did I just realize that like last night? When I didn't have, I don't have any scissors in here. So, I had to open it like this. That doesn't matter, we don't care. Well, we do care about that, but that's not anything that y'all care about. So, um, then I also got this, and I think I already know what this is. I think this is my new prayer journal that I ordered just to be like, just to have like a fresh start. I just wanted something that would be like symbolic or I would be able to differentiate from all of the journals and notebooks that I have to be like, this is the one that I got, the one that started out this journey. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be able to go back and look at it and always know that this was the start of everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I was literally adamant about that, getting a new journal, new prayer journal, all of that. And she was not, she really wasn't cheap. Like. <laughs> $30 for a journal is not cheap and I decided to just 
just get it because I felt like with how it looks and everything on the inside of it, I felt like she was worth it. Um, so let me just open it up real quick. Her and then um, daily prayer journal. And hold on, let me show y'all the inside. When you open it up, obviously, yes, that's there. So this is like what's all included in it. So I just love the like layout of it because it literally has like a weekly reflection. So it's asking like what were your favorite moments and what you connected with God in this past week, um, achievements. You get to choose a Bible verse and make it your own. Then you can just put it there or whatever. So like for the week, I can set out what verse or scripture I'm gonna choose to like meditate on for that week, which I really, really love. I think that will keep me structured and also it'll at the same time i feel like help me learn scripture like word for word if i have a scripture that i'm just meditating on throughout a week and then of course you have kind of like your gratitude area what you thank the lord for um also how can i bring positive attention to god today daily declaration of faith i definitely love this part right here because i feel like instead of you know there's nothing well you know what i don't know i don't want to say there's nothing wrong with manifesting because technically i think i've seen like a debate on should christians be meditating and this that and i mean not meditate man girl i'm about to pull a pastor my <laughs> Should Christians be manifesting or not? And technically, some people say they shouldn't. And then I've also seen where people will... There was a scripture, but I can't think of it right now, where it actually talks about manifesting or something like that. So I don't know. But I feel like this right here is a safer way to basically kind of do that. Avoid the controversy. So it says the daily declaration of faith. So, you know, I can just put whatever, you know, I'm believing for or whatever it may be. Or just a word of encouragement to keep the faith to myself every day or whatever. Then you have your highlight of the day. What are some areas I need God's guidance? love 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 that and ending my day with prayer so i love this and um you have you have your habit tracker so it's kind of like my digital planner that i already have but just um one that is centered around god and you have your intention and exercise um jotting down what you wish to attain in these areas of your life at the end of your journey you can come back to read this and see how much growth you have experienced so i'll probably fill this out sometime um this week so my responsibilities my mental physical self-care just like what are my goals in those areas of my life i just really really love this to be starting this journey and to also just have this and it will have all of these areas of my life in this one journal that i can go back and look at like what then you have your bible study portion right here so yeah it literally has everything personal letter to god y'all i'm gonna have to take my time whenever i come and do this part because i just know that this part whenever i go back and read this like down the line i know i know it's probably gonna make me like so emotional um so yeah, I just really, really love this cover your family in prayer. So I can just like put a prayer right here for my family, you know, and just to be able to go back and look, look back, like I keep on saying at where I was right now versus where I will be, you know, in the next six months or um, what have you. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to start this. Ah, I'm so, so excited. And they do have other colors. I think they have like a pink one and a black one or something like that, I don't know. But she will be linked on my storefront if y'all are interested in getting it. So yeah, that's my notebook that I'm super duper excited and stoked for. Now to this, cause I don't know what this is, girl. Oh, this is, okay, well I could probably go ahead and put this up. I ordered some, um, a set of silverware and then and also the little tray to organize it in my um, the tray to organize it in the drawer okay so so we got a purse I already know what this is oh yeah it's cute cute 
so I got this little red bag off of Amazon. Y'all, this is cute. Like, could it be a shoulder bag too? Oh, it can. Oh, perfect. Even though I do plan on wearing it like this, but I kind of wish that it was a little bit shorter. But anyways, yeah, this is really, really cute. I, the outfit that I have in mind for that, <laughs> I can't wait. I don't know what this is, but obviously it's some jewelry. I can't remember. Babe, did they send it to me empty? You're kidding me. Oh. <laughs> Cause girl, why is the little bag right here? But it's right here. Okay, so this is just another little ring that I got. And then this is another pair of shades. Mm. Eat down. Although I thought that they were a little bit more like, I thought they were matte. Like a, this isn't really like what I was expecting, but okay. It's cool. What is on my face? Um, that's, oh wait, no. I'm gonna have to show y'all another time, but I got this like shower head from Jolie that they sent me, um, which I don't really know if I'm even, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause I really do love my shower head already as it is, but the one they sent me is nice as well. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to see what's all because it's supposed to have like other like really good benefits and stuff like that to it. So it may be beneficial for me to use for my hair and body and all this kind of stuff. Um but yeah, so that was everything um to open up right now. Obviously, like my furniture and stuff. Um I haven't decided on a couch. My bed is here. We're gonna be putting that together at a later date. That was everything that I wanted to show y'all. Now I'm about to head off. I'm probably like grab something. I might grab something to eat or something like that on the way there, or I don't know. But we're about to go to Home Goods because I need to go and get like bath mats and stuff like that. Like I said, I need to get a trash can and all those type of good good things. So I'll probably catch y'all when we get to Home Goods. Pray and listen, hear your father These lies they told are so familiar They will haunt you, they will kill you Keep you hostage, king will heal you Before him, adore him He will give you everything Come and take your Can't everything keep going more. back to what I used to Y'all, I forgot the fact that I actually definitely need like cracks and folds and stuff. And this is actually like really cute. I feel like I just seen this in somebody's TikTok and I was like, oh, I really like that. And just to come in here and find this, and it's on glare, and it's the only one. I've never had like an elevated bowl type of situation. So I feel like this would be cute. So we're I'm in Target now and I just ran into these room sprays, which I feel like should be 
I need something to go in like the bathroom. I don't really like that either. Yeah, that really just smells like grass. It smells like, like perfume. I really want it to just be like a clean type of scent. Okay, yeah, I'm in Ross now. I feel like I've been all around the world because nobody just has everything that I just need. I think I want to do this, maybe, for the bathroom. Even this is kind of cute, but I just feel like it's not going to look right with the finish of the wood. Like, it's going to clash. Like, I really do like these, but I don't think it's going to match. So, it's like I'm, I really have to... My only option is really black. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do, this is kinda cute, this is different. Maybe I should do this, cause it's not basic, you know? Yeah, for like the soap. And then I already, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I have to get one for the kitchen, like a soap dispenser or whatever. I think this will be useful to hold like my sponge and stuff. Ew, but anyways, I got kava, my favorite thing. But yeah, I got kava, but before I do that, before I eat, I want to go ahead and put up um, the silverware or whatever before I go, before I eat. This should be dry by now, right? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought. I was so excited because I'm like so ready to put the little stuff, put it in the drawer. Anyways, okay, well, after I eat, I'll come back and we'll do a quick little haul of everything that I got. I really didn't get like, my, actually I kind of like checked off everything that I technically like had on my list except for the most important thing which was like my bath mats. But I'm gonna have to order them because I went to TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, Home Goods, and Target and I did not find any like mats that I wanted and technically I feel like it's because I was just gonna do like the two or the mats with um or like the two different mats the two mats for the sink and then the, the mat 
for when I'm stepping out of the shower. But I think I changed my mind and I think that it's just gonna be best to do like a runner for the sink instead of two separate mats. I feel like a runner and then one mat for when I'm stepping out of the shower may make more sense. And also I just wasn't really too, I don't know. Is the bathroom mats really aren't all that important, are they? <laughs> They really don't matter that much, but I don't know. None of the black ones are really wowing me. And y'all know I have a love for pink now. So I'm really trying to debate on if I want to like incorporate pink at all. Um, so yeah. Okay y'all, so I said I was gonna give y'all a quick little rundown of everything that I got. I went to a couple of different, um, so it's like a filtered shower, shower here. Um, do I just open this part? I'm also supposed to be looking at this like Joe, not Joe, I was supposed to say Joe. That's this, uh, this Sophie or Sophie, or Sophia thing or something i was just on tiktok live and we were talking about if you were on there i think you know we were talking about this whole nursing school thing and supposedly there's something called so one of those that i just said where basically you just pay like 90 dollars 99 dollars a month or something like that and you can take as many prereqs in a month like as you want and one of the girls said that she literally, I think she said that she did it in two months or something like that, but it was for engineering. But obviously like I'll be doing it for um, nursing, but I'm glad that I had that on um, live because I knew nothing about that. But that's not to say like that's the exact route that I'm set on going because I still have to check and see because they said that there's like a list of schools that takes it so i have to make sure that like whatever school i would plan on going to why am i out of breath whatever school i would plan on going to for my bsn i would have to make sure that that school is on their list of schools that accepts like the credits or whatever um if that's the route that i end up taking but i'm so i'm like stoked about looking at it now because that would like, I'm not gonna lie, that would be so clutch if I could just like lock in and go ahead and knock out my prereq that fast. Cause usually, I mean, prereqs will probably take like a year or so, a year or two, whatever. And to be able to possibly knock those out in however many like months I could like discipline myself to, it's crazy. Enjoy. Um, so this is the, oh, it comes with a wrench. Oh, wow. And it comes with tape. Y'all, what the crap? <laughs> oh, no, nah, this is a little too manly for me, child. This be, uh-uh, uh-uh. It got a little tape, and then you're supposed to put like, tape on there. And then this is the um, the shower head. It's just black. So, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I know I'm not about to change it out myself. Like all this like handy dandy stuff, it, it will be waiting. <laughs> it will be waiting to get done. <laughs> So y'all can see what it was getting. But it's supposed to be like, it, I mean, I, I guess it has like a, like water filter on the inside of it to make sure the water is clean. So like, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds amazing. But like I said, I'm not about to do it myself. From Target, I have to get a razor. I got the little room spray. I'm gonna sit this in the bathroom. I got it in the scent canvas. Tide Pods, bleach, antibacterial filler, soap, because I'm just gonna get the actual soap dispenser thing for my J curds or whatever, the things that you actually put the soap in. So all I need is like the soap to put in there instead of buying soap like the little small soaps or whatever. 
I think y'all seen what I got from Marshalls. Then I went to Dollar Tree because Fanny said I went to Dollar Tree because usually Dollar Tree has the little clear container things, which I was gonna get a bunch of those from Dollar Tree, but this Dollar Tree in particular didn't have them. So I was about to just leave out, but I ended up going ahead and just getting some cotton rounds out just to have, I guess, for emergency, some lint rollers. And then y'all seen when I was at home goods, I got the trash can. Back to the bowl and the trash can. Oh, y'all got a broom too. I don't know if I showed y'all that part or if y'all seen that, but I got a broom from Target. You disappointed me. You disappointed me. Cause baby, what is this? I've never, I've literally quite frankly, I feel like never seen a shoe like mess up this bad. And the fact that I like kind of like getting worn out like on the heel area or like this part, which is bad enough itself. But the fact that y'all, I feel like, yeah, these are, these are the only pair of heels that I've gotten that are like, these were like a hundred dollars, I think, something like that. And I got these when I, what was that? Like my 22nd birthday, I think it was, my 22nd birthday. Like a year and some change ago. Um, I'm confused as to why are these, like the little cheap heels that I got, like all my little heels from like Ego, Pretty Little Thing, all those I have a silver pair that I have had for like a minute. Um, from pretty little things that are just now kind of starting to starting, you know, look a little, look, look a little more down now. But the rest of my youth, the look from the cheap places have never, never did me this bad. So I'm just like so confused. What? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Like I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Like this looks terrible. This looks like somebody's dog got a hold to my shoe. too long your hair starts to come out so it's definitely long overdue because i'm always in a uh, middle part so this part right here i feel like it's starting at the end but at the same time i feel like that's also coming from me using that glycolic acid on my scalp because i read somewhere where it said that glycolic acid was good for um like what are you suffering with when it comes to my dry scalp so that's what I was using, but the more and more I use it, I feel like the more and more I'm seeing my hair going away. So 
I won't be doing that anymore, okay? And then also my blow dryer. I feel like my blow dryer plays a part in it too. So I plan on getting a blow dryer that is literally just the just the the one that just blow, not the brush kind that I have, because I feel like that be pulling out my hair. I feel like I'd be feeling my hair pull and I feel like it may be causing me to have like a little bit of breakage um, and not using that kind anymore. So, yeah. But I gotta get some content done real quick, which y'all would have seen already at the beginning of this vlog, I believe. I'm about to go ahead and show y'all these Fashion Nova pieces. But at this point, y'all should have already seen it because it should be at the beginning of the vlog. So, I like the way that I don't, I feel like concealer be doing me bad because, like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like whenever I put on concealer, like, I have to put on just a teeny tiny bit because concealer be making me like cakey you know so i don't know i don't know if it's just this concealer but i didn't used to have any problems with that hourglass concealer before so i don't know but i'm gonna put on like the tiniest bit because if i try to do like a full out phase it just be too cakey for me but i do plan on going back and trying the makeup forever hd concealer because when i look back at like my old tiktok videos i forgot that i even much used to use that concealer and i need to figure out what color it was because i was watching one of my tiktok get ready with me's from like the beginning of 2022 when i was like deep off and doing the get ready with me videos on tiktok and i literally love the way that my makeup looked so i don't know what color it was i feel like i had like 40 number 45 or something like that but i think i want to try it again because it was tea or at least it had my makeup looking tea and why does it feel like this consumer is like not even spreading or moving um I really, like every time I try to go full out and say, oh, I'll put on a whole face of makeup, every time I regret it. So I'm not even about to do that right now because I'm already like behind on the time frame that I want it to be done. So I'm not even about to do it to myself. Contour powder is. Okay, I don't know why I'm just on the brush because I actually don't. That is, the video did not say that it thins out your brows, but it just said to whoever, something about, I don't know, I can't remember, but basically her eyebrows were really full and it said something about eyebrow gels and I was like, hmm, that makes sense. So I've since stopped using eyebrow gels because I do feel like my brows have been thinner than usual. So, and I do be like, I feel like my brows, brow hairs be coming out a little bit more when I use gels. I like thick brows, not thin brows, okay? I also don't, well, I'm probably gonna put on mascara just for the sake of the content, but I don't really like putting on mascara either because when I have, when I have a mascara, I'm more prone to pull my lashes. Now that part is on me, but yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's like I just get a thrill out of like pulling the mascara off my lash and subsequently that gets me pulling out my lashes. There is in fact something in my eye. My eyes about to start watering.
Good morning, y'all. Okay, so we got another package in. I just put up my um silk. What do you call that? What do they call it? Is this even is it like favorite or something like that? But um yeah, I just put up my stuff that I cleaned the other day. I literally don't even think I picked up the camera like since the other day. But we have to go and return these two that I got from Ross the other day. So, um, yeah, because this does not work. It, I'm so mad because this was so cute. Like, I did not want anything like like a basic little soap dispenser. This was so stinking cute. I love this, but my soap is literally not even coming out. And then this right here, I got to hold my um, sponge and stuff. Literally keeps on falling. So, yeah, we have to go take a little bit and try to find um, another replacement. And then we also got another package in um, yesterday from Amazon. It's black, so we'll put this together and then my pots and pan set. What is this? Oh, are these the tops? Hold on one second. <laughs> because I didn't know that they were this itty bitty. So no, but I mean, this is what they look like. I got the like black ones, non-stick. These are so itty bitty, like this is so small. I don't know, what do y'all think? Do y'all think I should just like, do I, should I return these and get another set? Or should I just like keep these and then just buy Cause the two that I'm thinking about is like a larger frying pan and a larger um, boiling pot for like when I'm making pasta and stuff like that. So I don't know, what do y'all think? Do y'all think that I should return? Cause this is like so small. That is itty bitty. I knew this box looked small when I was, when I opened it, but I don't know what I, I thought something was gonna surprise me. But no, ma'am. Um, where is it? Oh, this reminds me of back in the day when my auntie used to do my hair. It literally smelled like, oh, I feel like, oh, it smelled like, a, well, not smell like a kid, but it reminds me of my childhood. Childhood hair days. Baby, where is that stuff? Oh, here we go. I came, oh, what's the camera really? I came in the Ulta because I want to curl my hair. I need to get some content done. And I just wanted my hair curled anyway. This is what I wanted to do when I did my hair, but I didn't come and get the, I need some hairspray. So, when this, when the girl did my hair for a photo shoot that I had did, it was for a makeup artist and um, they did, they had the whole nine, baby. They had the makeup, the hair, everything. I, I came with my hair done, but she was like, oh, no, nah, baby, we do, the whole, we do the whole nine. So whenever she did my hair, I know I seen, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think I seen her using this. And that curl stayed put, okay? I ain't never had no curl stay put like that ever before so was it the ultra freeze spray why is it so many different sprays i don't know but she's a wedding hairstylist so i know she probably she had the best of the best product but i just know fast dry hairspray oh i don't know what it is 
flexible hole. Maybe I should do this because like my hair gonna be down. So I don't want nothing that's gonna hold it too tight because it's gonna be down. So I want it to still be flowy, not stiff. So probably you should do this one. Flexible hole. Cause the super hole and stuff is probably for like more like an actual style. Excuse me, do you do you work in this area? So I know I want this brand hairspray, but I'm trying to see because I know it's probably one that's better for when your hair is going to be down and curly and when you're trying to have a hairspray for like an actual style. Mine is going to be like down and curly. So I'm trying to see because you know the super hole probably going to make the down curl stiff. So I would say you need a setting spray first because with a setting spray you would spray it on, brush your hair and then style it. Okay. And it's um, formulated for heat styling. Okay. Um, does that have a setting spray? And then you can, of course, like if you're going to brush it out, because that's how I do mine. Like I use a setting spray, curl it, and then at the end I go back and brush it out. Um, nah, not that one. And then you can go back with your hairspray. Okay. And spray that. Look like a hot spray. Yes. Okay. So this is their setting spray. With this, this one can you can get... put this on wet hair. No. This goes on dry hair. Okay. Before you curl it, or before you are using a curling iron. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this will be sprayed on before you use your curling iron. Okay. A little bit goes a very long way with this because, okay. <laughs> look, I have done hair for a very long time. Okay. My daughter is in the pageant scene. This will make your hair stiff. So when I say like, so I would hold it out like this and then I go back and brush it. Like brush it through okay. and then curl it. Curl everything you're gonna curl. Kind of let it cool off in that same position that you curled it in. Uh -huh. And then you can go through with like a well, white It's gonna make your hair comb. stiff. If like you are spray, 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 hold it out, spray, brush your hair. Uh -huh. But this is a curl setting spray and your curls will last for like days. Days on okay. days. It's like flowy loose curl. Yes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But Not this just like sets it. And it okay. has heat protectant in there too, so it's protecting your hair. Okay, okay. Um, and then what is this? This yeah. one is the fast drying hair spray, it's a flexible hold. Yes, so that's a brushable hold. Um, so if you spray it in, Let's say you're brushing your curls out and then you kind of like spray this on there. Mm -hmm. You should still be able to like run your hands through, brush it through, no. but it's still going to flow. Mm -hmm. Flow. Okay. Yes. Okay. But just be like very easy handed with this because it works like a charm, but you don't want to use too much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. So she said to use both of these. She said to put the one on the right side on my hair first and you put this on dry hair, she said and then this the the other setting spray or no this heat protectant what girl no jesus the hairspray on the left afterwards so the only thing about this one this is a heat protectant spray and i usually use that before i go in with drying and everything like that because i don't want it to um like make my hair poof up because my hair is already straight. So let's see. What are, does it have instructions? Directions. Oh, it says separate dry hair into sections. Okay, then. So she it may be right. Still breathe. Still breathe.
whole bunch of well not read it i've seen a lot of reviews about this um setting spray are my hands actually i feel like my hands are actually over yeah but anyway this little did i just say setting spray hairspray and i spray it over my hair and i have to take these curls out because y'all every time i curl my hair i feel like my curls come out within like minutes so i sprayed my hair with it and we're gonna see like what is giving if it even because usually when i'm just like brushing my hair out or combing it out the curls didn't already started falling and i've been using like spritz <laughs> so we're gonna see if this right here do the job and it's like a volumizing spray as well so hopefully it add like a little bounce but so far, I really like the fact that it's like making my it makes my hair look so shiny. Like my hair is already looking like really shiny. So the lady inside of Ulta when I got it, she said that she uses it on her um daughter's hair for pageants. <laughs> um, okay, it's definitely volume. Like it's definitely I can tell it's added the volume, but hold on, wait. If you need, I like a loose curl, so they don't have to be all that tight, but I just want the curl to hold though, so. I feel like because my hair is already like a little bit frizzy. Yeah, I'm finishing up my hair and I get a notification about a package. So, I didn't know what it was. I totally forgot I even much order anything. You know, see what this is. Well, I know it's some shoes because I know when I seen the picture, I was like, oh yeah, I did order some shoes from Pretty Little Thing. I didn't totally figure out like what they look like or what they are. So we're gonna be surprised together. That spray, yo, where's the curl? Is my hair just like hold a curl, like anti hold a curl or what? Because just to get in I just took it in so and I just sprayed more in it to kind of hold the little whatever is still there but like girl what's going on no. okay, let's see. what is this oh the silver heels oh I'm so glad I did not order no more silver heels because I surely I mean like I still need a pair of silver heels I'm so glad I didn't do that. Ooh, it's just a silver, like, pop heel. So, this came right, these came right in time too because I'm actually about to film this content, like, right now, so. These are tea, these are too cute. So, yeah, that's that pretty little thing. Let me, oh yeah. We have more packages, y'all. I just got home, and this set, set that I have on is also from Fashion Nova, so. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, Fashion Nova set is be so cute. But let's get into opening up these packages because, girl, like, I'm so tired. I was supposed to, I'm, I still haven't done my first little grocery haul and my first plays, you know, all that kind of good jazz yet because I was planning on doing it today, but y'all, it's so hot outside, like, I'm, I'm tired from doing the little runs that I just did and that wasn't even that much, but it's just like, I don't even have the, <sighs> girl, I wish this was like fall time and it was a little bit more chill outside because that would just be perfect, but it's so hot. And for one, going to get, you gotta go get the stuff, then get the stuff out the car and bring it inside. Mm. Baby, no, that's, no. But let's open this stuff up. Um, oh, actually, first, I'll show you all the stuff that I got 
um, from Marshalls real quick because I did go and return, what was it? I returned the um, the broken soap dispenser. But I found me some slippers because I need slippers because no shoes in the house. And then I also got the little brush to go on um, there. Yeah, but I got that to go on here, right there by the dishwasher, or I meant the sink. I'm pretty sure this is probably like my plate set, if I'm not mistaken, because it's heavy. So that's what I have until it is. Indeed it is. Now we have plates. In like different ones, but that's for starters. So, just a basic little plate set. Next package from Amazon. I think I'm gonna order a box cutter because this ain't gonna work. Silicone. already put together. Oh wait, no, no, no. Y'all see it over there in the corner? Is it? And then I got um, a silicone kitchen utensil set. So just the like cooking utensils. 